Most, if not all, of the chronic illnesses I see in practice on a regular basis are a complex interaction between genes and environment. And we have to bear in mind that when it comes to balancing hormones and addressing hormone-related issues within functional medicine, that still applies because much of what we're exposed to might be chemicals that are hormone disruptors. And so we have ways of investigating uh, not just thyroid and adrenal issues, but imbalances in the sex hormones related to estrogen and progesterone, and then fitting together a treatment plan that addresses what we most commonly see related to estrogen dominance, which again can occur because there's issues in metabolism of estrogen due to interference from environmental exposures or genetic reasons that interfere with the different phases in which estrogen might break down in your body. And if it's not breaking down or metabolizing properly, you accumulate estrogen, that triggers different receptors in the body, especially the tissues that are estrogen responsive. Um, and also immune cells, since estrogen can be activating for the mast cell, for example, triggering it to release its inflammatory chemicals like histamine.